Good evening from San Ignacio Town. With the 9 o'clock news, I am Patrick Jones. In the headlines, local NEMO coordinator says hurricane shelters have been prepared. Community activist reports illegal logging happening in the Toledo district. And the Belize Weather Bureau says a tropical wave will cause a moderate increase in showers on Saturday. Stay tuned for details of these and other stories coming up after these messages. Wondering what it feels like to be in the clouds? Then let's go on an exciting tour and experience a great new adventure. TNH Tours Belize offers a variety of horseback riding combined with caving, canoeing, and personalized tours. Enjoy pristine jungle canopies, caves, and magnificent views. Tour safely with our licensed tour guides and professional horsemen. For a memorable tour in the heart of Belize's natural heritage, come to TNH Tours. For more information, contact us at tnhtoursbelize.com or call 667-8884 or 600-1293. Thanks for choosing TNH Tours Belize. Would you like to know more about the flora and fauna of Belize? Do you enjoy gardening and need some tips? Then tune in to The Garden Show with Belize Botanic Gardens every Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, only on the National Channel. Who said that deals only happen once a year or only on special occasions? Walk into any one of our central TV and internet offices to get free installation, free modems, and free MyTV subscriptions. Visit us whether you're in Belize City, Belmapan, San Ignacio, or Benque, or give us a call toll-free at 0800-CABLE-TV. Central TV and Internet. Bundle and save. Bundle and save. Central TV and Internet. Here now is the news in details. Community activist Will Mejia, who is also the deputy leader of the Belize Progressive Party, this week highlighted what he says is illegal logging still taking place in the Toledo district. In a segment on PGTV News, which is a local program produced by Mejia, he went into the Deep River Forest Reserve area a week ago and found a number of trees that were felled by illegal loggers. You look at this, this fleet out here. This is a mahogany. It looks like they are not only hurting or cutting the, the rosewood. Our national tree is getting it too. The mahogany. The baby mahogany. You see these machet marks? Look here. This small rosewood targeted already. Maybe this one here. Going soon. So they mark the tree. Yes, this one here is marked, much at mark, and the, around it is clean. This is the way how they clean it because anytime somebody come in the jungle, so they won't expect that if this tree is targeted or or already cleaned. So that's why they have it so. So anytime they come, they just brush off the the leaf bushes spot, then fall it. If you look at this. This is our national tree, the mahogany. They are killing our our national tree, destroying the forest. And we, whereby this mahogany tree out there is very, very young. It's a baby. It's a baby, destroying. The Belize Territorial Volunteers Group says it will continue to monitor reports of illegal logging in the Toledo district. Two separate shooting incidents have been reported in the Belize district in the last 24 hours. The first happened in San Pedro town on Ambergris Key around 7.30 last night. 45-year-old Calvin Chi Sr., a resident of the San Mateo area, told police that while at home last night, 
he heard someone calling for someone by the name of Leroy from in front of his resident. She said that when he replied that no one by that name lived there, several gunshots were heard. She says that he crawled on the floor to his bathroom and saw two persons running away. Police say they have since detained two minors for questioning. The second overnight shooting incident happened in Belize City. It resulted in a 17-year-old minor being hospitalized with a gunshot wound to the right shoulder. Police say the shooting happened at the corner of Central American and Jane Usher Boulevards. The minor was reportedly standing by a gate when the assailant approached from the direction of the Port Authority and fired several shots. The minor remains hospitalized at the Carl Hushner Memorial in stable condition. Police investigations continue. Most Belizeans will readily recognize the name Calypso Rose, which has become synonymous with September celebrations jump up in Belize. The 76-year-old Calypsonian has been performing in Belize for decades. The legendary singer, originally from Trinidad and Tobago, is the recipient of the prestigious Womex 2016 Artist Award. The award will be handed out in October in Berlin. Belizean music producer Ivan Duran has been tabbed to present the award to Calypso Rose, whose real name is Dr. MacArthur Sandy Lewis. Among her career achievements is getting the Calypso King competition to be changed to a more gender-neutral Calypso monarch. Although she has received numerous other awards, Calypso Rose says she is honored to receive this specific award, which is a global one. She notes that it is a special recognition for all of her fans across the world. You're watching the 9 o'clock news. We will have more of the day's stories for you right after these messages. Wondering what it feels like to be in the clouds? Then let's go on an exciting tour and experience a great new adventure. TNH Tours Belize offers a variety of horseback riding combined with caving, canoeing, and personalized tours. Enjoy pristine jungle canopies, caves, and magnificent views. Tour safely with our licensed tour guides and professional horsemen. For a memorable tour in the heart of Belize's natural heritage, come to TNH Tours. For more information, contact us at tnhtoursbelize.com or call 667-8884 or 600-1293. Thanks for choosing TNH Tours Belize. Nine women, one ball, one diamond, seven innings, one winner. It's a game of numbers. It's women's amateur softball in full high definition. Catch all the action from the diamond live on TNC 10, Belize's sport, news, and information station. Welcome back to the 9 o'clock news. A month and a half into the 2016 hurricane season, the local coordinator for the National Emergency Management Organization, Al Westby, says all systems have been tested and are in working form. Westby was a guest this week on the Current Affairs Program Police Checkpoint. He responded to a query from a caller about the state of preparedness of the hurricane shelter in Valley of Peace. Here is how he explained it. We are in the process of, of repairing some shelters, but what has happened, we don't have the, we don't have the, we can't repair all the shelters at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we go yearly, we pick out 
two or three from each area or district, and that's mm -hmm. what we do. Mm -hmm. So for Valley of Peace, um, if it's just a bathroom and it's minor, if you're um, still listening on TVM um, counselor, you could um, make that submission to Miss Moody, and I'm sure that Miss Moody would get it to me, or, and, and, and then I'll, I'll forward it to. Um, we, we now have an a, um, a engineer on board with us, and he could go out there and look at it. All right. So, Carla, if you have any um, concerns in respect to that, as Mr. Westby said, give Miss Moody a call, and then they will see how best they could address that situation. Again, the, the caller made a valuable point in the sense that bathroom facilities is always a major concern, especially whenever you have a whole group of people congregating in one area. Say in, 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 in disaster, it's say 40 to 50 people per, per sewerage and wash and basin and things mm -hmm. like that, so you could imagine. Yes, exactly. I mean, when, when people come from a situation where there's only a small household and they have one bathroom to themselves now you have to be sharing this whole yeah i know that's one of the concerns so before the caller and i want to thank the caller for calling um i asked you about what are some of the challenges you as nemo face when you when you're out there one of the we have um many challenges but dealing with disaster and disaster management as a disaster personnel what you are taught and what is sinked into your head, you work with whatever resources you have. Mm -hmm. And we've learned that over the years. Mm -hmm. um, one of the main challenges is people who refuse to listen. Mm -hmm. people, that, that's one of the main challenges. Um, people adhere to what they want. Mm -hmm. One of the things we try to say and we put out there is that we give you enough warning. Mm -hmm. 72, 48, 24 hours. You look at it, people would wait until the storm is 24 hours away before they want to go to the bank, before they want to go to the grocery store, before they want to do anything. And that's a huge problem for us because mm. we are playing with time. Mm -hmm. We are playing with time and then the highway get congested, the stores are congested, the gas, ATM is the, empty, the, the, gas, the, station. the gas station is empty. <laughs> yes, All right? and yes, yes. We, we ask people to please, you know what, make your plans ahead of time and that's why we ask you to mm -hmm. have your family plan you mm -hmm. go on our website mm -hmm. and Nemo website and you could get the family plan you could get all the information that you need after the hurricane season runs until the end of november the police checkpoint program airs live every tuesday night uh, at seven o'clock on tnt 10 and repeats at various times throughout the week after a 10-year absence, Belize is returning to the Miss Universe pageant stage. The process of selecting the delegates that will represent Belize at the Miss Universe pageant later this year has begun. And today, the Miss Belize Universe organization announced that 16 Miss Belize pageant contestants have been chosen. Each of the six districts is represented in the pageant, which will take place on September 10th in Belize City. The contestants are... Mr. Suazo, Corozal, Tiosha Hall, Corozal, Leanne Chi, Orange Walk, Caroline Fox, Orange Walk, Crystalline Wolf, Spanish Lookout, Marcia Moody, San Ignacio, Kimberly Price, Santa Elena, Shamra Palacio, Esperanza, Leanne Reed, Belmopan, Moria Lino, Belmopan, Nati Rodriguez from the colored area of Belize City, Idoli Saldivar from the Fort George area of Belize City, uh, Shamira Neal from the Queen Square area of Belize City, Dianira Rivera from San Pedro, Rebecca Rath from Dangriga, Liliana Viarta from Placencia, and Marlene Heron from Punta Gorda. According to the National Director of Miss Belize Universe, Opal Enriquez, Belizeans can be proud to have such a strong group of contestants, any of whom would represent us well on the international stage. End of quote. As mentioned before, the Miss Belize pageant will be held on September 10th at the Bliss Center for the Performing Arts. The Miss Universe pageant takes place in December in Las Vegas, Nevada. The chairman-elect of Cattle Landing Village in the Toledo District is still waiting to be sworn in so that he can begin the leadership mandate that was given him by the residents in village council elections held over a month ago. Carlos Bardales and his councillors have been waiting for the official swearing in, and this week, 
they told our colleagues at PGTV that he does not understand why the Ministry of Local Government is holding off on his swearing in. I went to election and boundaries. They told us that the opposition, which is UDP, sending a protest against our team. Did they explain to you what was the um, what was the reason why you have not been swearing in? Well, they said a protest. I asked them what was the protest. I wanted a copy. They said that they didn't have any copy, so they do not know really what was the protest. They said they're going to get back to me in this week coming. Yeah, I won the election fair and square. I do not know what kind of protest they have. What's the problem? Maybe because we are not any political party. That's why they are giving us problems to swear in. So I don't really know why they are pushing us like that. And I went for it, when the lady counts the ballots for the chairman, I beat him by six, and they're still giving us the whole sleep problem to get in, to spare us in. So I don't really know what their problem they are protesting against us. TNC News has been unable to reach the local government officer for comment on the situation in Cattle Landing Village. This is the news on the national channel. Stay tuned for a look at the weather after these messages. Would you like to? Hi, I'm Chelsea Rain. I'd like to tell you about the biggest thing that hit the local real estate market. The Belize Real Estate Show. Whether you are a real estate agent or property owner looking to rent or sell your property, the Belize Real Estate Show can help. We offer high quality production with stunning slideshows, voiceovers, cinematic videos, and even an extended walkthrough hosted by yours truly. Call the number on your screen and allow all our viewers to dream of renting or owning your property. Who said that deals only happen once a year or only on special occasions? Walk into any one of our central TV and internet offices to get free installation, free modems, and free MyTV subscriptions. Visit us whether you're in Belize City, Belmapan, San Ignacio, or Benque, or give us a call toll-free at 0800 Cable TV. Central TV and Internet. Bundle and save. Bundle and save. Central TV and Internet. It was mostly sunny today in San Ignacio town, but the Belize Weather Bureau says Saturday should see some rain. Here is the forecast.
and that is a look at the weather with information provided by forecaster Derek Rodon at the Belize Weather Bureau. To summarize the news, here are the main points again. Local NEMA coordinator says hurricane shelters have been prepared. Community activist reports illegal logging happening in the Toledo district. And the Belize Weather Bureau says a tropical wave will cause a moderate increase in showers on Saturday. With the headlines, we end this edition of the 9 o'clock news. As we head out this Friday evening, we hope that you and your family will have a safe and an enjoyable weekend. Join us back here at the news desk on Monday for another newscast. Thank you for joining us. I am Patrick Jones. Have a good evening and a good night.